Carry coat on, we're off. Off where? To meet your brother. Half brother. Oh, don't be picky. You've not got any closer relatives. He's not expecting to meet me at the airport. I need some moral support, Gail. You'll be fine. And you don't want me by your side looking like a wet dishcloth. Oh, doesn't anybody realise how important this is to me? And me. At least by the time I come round for dinner tonight, I'll have had time to have a bath and put a comb through my hair. Well, I expect a bit more than that, Gail. I'll make sure she's got a fresh starch pin. Oh, she's nervous. Yes, so am I. This took me by surprise. I wasn't expecting you here. Oh, come on. You don't think I'd let you spend five minutes in this country without being here to welcome you, do you? I just didn't want to put you to any trouble. Trouble? Stephen, I flew across all that water to be with you when you were ill. Now, you don't imagine that a hop and a skip to Liverpool Airport's got to stop there. No, I should have thought. Oh, look at you. You look... Oh, you look bummer. <laughs> now, don't look at me. I look a mess. Mother. <gasps> oh. Oh. Mom, this is Carrie Meyer, uh, my mother, Audrey Roberts. I've heard a lot about you, Mrs. Roberts. Oh, well, do you know, I haven't heard a whisper about you. Mind you, we always well secretive. Well, they are, aren't they, lads? They can also be little rogues. So, uh, how long have you and... Uh... Mom, uh, Carrie works with me. She's our leading negotiator. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were... Delighted to meet you, Mrs. Roberts. And the same to you, I'm sure. <laughs> Right, come on, let's get you home. I've got a car waiting. Um, Alf was going to be here, but he's had to go off on national business or something. Uh, look, Mum, we already got a car, and I've got to get checked into the hotel, because hotel? I... Hotel? Oh, no, Stephen, you can't stay in a hotel. No, no, lovey, Alf would never book that, not for a second. No, no, come on, he's expecting you to stop with us. Um, my husband is the ex-mayor, you see, Carrie, and you can't argue with authority, can you? Well, you must have learnt that from working with my son. Uh, absolutely. Listen, Mum, I'd love to... Stephen, come on. Just a few days, at least. Oh, look, we've only got a timetable meeting, and I can handle that. Just about. Fill it in, and we'll fix tomorrow. Thanks. No problem. Okay, Ma. Take me home. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Roberts. I'll talk to you later, Stephen. Oh, Stephen? First name's her. Mother. Is there something you're keeping from, Ma? Behave. <laughs> You got it then? Yes, sir. No, Alf. Stephen. Right, yeah. Where's Audrey? Yeah, she's just popping something in the microwave. Oh, right, yeah. Listen, I'm sorry I didn't meet you at the airport. Oh, no problem. Uh, Mom was telling me about your work for the community, your, your OBE. Oh, and... yeah, yeah, meetings with the Queen, you know. Yeah, yeah. she would do. <laughs> she goes on about it too much. <sighs> it's not all glamour, you know. I mean, this afternoon, for instance, I've just spent four hours talking about drains. Well, that can be very important. Oh, it can when it's your drains that are blocked. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, I can well appreciate that. Right, time for a drink. Great, uh, scotch would be nice. Great. Yeah. Oh, uh, you've met them. Yes, yes. Uh, what are you doing, Alf? Oh, I'm getting a lot of whiskey. No, no, I'll do that. Oh, that'd be nice. Don't take your coat off, you're not stopping, you're picking up Gail. Oh, right, I'll, uh, anyway, yeah. Thank okay. You. Open. Is she uh, bringing the family with her? Uh, no, not tonight. I thought it would be nice, just the four of us, hmm? Yeah. Yeah, it'll be lovely. Mike, have you uh, seen Gail? Yeah, she's over there with Alma. Do you oh, want a drink? Oh, like oh, you can do with one. Oh, uh, no, better not. No, I'm on my best behaviour. Right. right then, Gail. Alma. 
Is it time? Yeah, knock that back first. <laughs> oh, what's it like, Alf? Well, he seems a decent sort of lad, you know. She's giving him the full VIP treatment. She'll want me to pin me OBE on my pyjamas. <laughs> she's giving you a big build-up as well, you know. I mean, you won't recognise that cafe from the picture she's painted. It's right, high-class restaurant. Oh, wait, are you saying that that's not true, Al? Yeah, you know what I mean. Come on, let's not keep... Look, Alma can drink that. Oh, can she? Yeah, you know what she's like. <laughs> Tell her. No, he's a decent lad. What is he? Al! Yes, love? Give me a hand, mm. darling, would you? Aye. No, no, I'll go. No, no. Got to be me. Got to be. <laughs> yes, my flower. Mum seems in fine form. She usually is. Seems to have found herself a good man. Yeah. I sometimes wonder if she realises how lucky she is. I'm sure she does. Deep down. Yeah. She says things are going really well for you. Business thriving. Yeah, yeah it is. Uh, if you like business. Don't you? Well, yes, I do. But uh, it's not quite what I expected to be doing. I suppose life's like that. Nothing ever turns out the way you dreamt it. Not that that's a bad thing, but uh, oh, I don't know, I'm not complaining. It's just a surprise. So what did you see yourself doing? Oh, I don't know. Long time ago, childhood fantasies. Did you want to run away to the circus? <laughs> did you? <laughs> Once in a while, yeah. Was it that bad? Well, it, it wasn't easy. She, she did her best. It wasn't till I had children of my own that uh, I realised how difficult things were for her. Yeah, I thought about that a lot, obviously. So what did you want to do? <laughs> You'll laugh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I used to be an ice hockey player, uh, minor league. But actually, I wanted to do figure skating. But I could never find a partner. It happens sometimes. Anyway, imagine how Mum would have felt seeing me all dressed up in sequins. <laughs> something I can't blame her for. I don't know, I... I ask myself that question. Why didn't I? I ask it more and more as time goes by. How about you? Did you always want to run an exclusive restaurant? <laughs> Stephen, it's only exclusive in as much as there's an awful lot of people who wouldn't even dream of eating in there. <laughs> it's not even a restaurant. I run a greasy spoon. Oh, what? <laughs> cafe. I mean, it's not even a cafe. It's just a normal, come the garden, down to earth cafe. <laughs> You're not at all like Mum. No. Neither are you. No. I hope you like prawn cocktail. Love it. Oh. Have you two found you've got a lot in common? Yes, ma'am. I think so. 